sailing on waves of silver, there were echoes in the wind. When we raised our sails to capture my friend, what is, your, what is your name? Lewis. Lewis, and uh, where are you from, Lewis? I'm from England. You heard England? <laughs> what are you doing in Czech Republic? Uh, I've been working here for about two months now. I work on a bar food company. So you came two months ago to the Czech Republic? Yeah. Uh, how long are you going to stay in here? Well, uh, I wanted to stay for like two months at the first place, but now I want to be here for like a year, two years. I've fallen in love with Prague. Prague's an awesome city. Thank you. It's great to see you here. And what about your family? Do you celebrate Christmas? Yeah, I celebrate Christmas. Yeah. Are you going to stay in Prague or are you going to visit your family? I, I don't think I can afford to go home at the moment. I, I'm not, I haven't got enough money yet. Uh, maybe, maybe. Never know. Um, uh, yeah. That's too bad. So, next question. Uh, how about Czech girls? Have you, do you like Czech girls? I love Czech girls. Czech girls are beautiful. Now we are standing in Paris Street. We can find here many expensive shops such as Chanel, Louis Vuitton, Versace and many more. We are standing in Paris Street and we walk it here from Old Town Square. Charles IV was born on the 14th of May 1416 in Prague. His father was John of Luxembourg and his mother was Eliška Przemyslovna. In 1324, Charles was sent by his father to the French royal court to be educated. He inherited the name Charles after his godfather. In 1328, the godfather died, but Charles stayed with the royal court. After that, his father appointed him to be his representative in Italy. On the 26th of November 1346, Charles was crowded to the Roman king in Bono. On the 6th of January 1355, he became Italian king. On the 5th of February 1355, he was crowded the Holy Roman Emperor. On the 4th of June 1355, he became Burgundy king. Charles IV died at around 8 p.m. in the Prague castle of Pneumonia at the age of 62 and a half. His body is buried in the royal tomb in this cathedral with his ancestors. After his death, the Holy Emperor Charles IV of Luxembourg is remembered as the most below Czech king and the father of Czech nation. We are standing at Charles Bridge. We walk it here from Paris Street because we preserve the environment. If you are a demanding viewer, you should visit Czech National Theatre in Prague. You can enjoy many great and world-known planes with many popular Czech actors there. But don't forget to buy your tickets in time, they often sold out. If you are more into music or watching movies, you can visit some of the many concerts of local and world-known bands such as Red Hot Chili Peppers, which were here in 2012. Or you can visit some cinema. Prague's cinemas are always playing interesting movies, including national premieres. Prague is a capital city of the Czech Republic. Has 2 million population. Prague is situated on the Vltava River, flanked by the president, the government, central government, agencies and one of two high tribunals. Prague is widely considered one of the most beautiful cities in Europe. Prague has a many exciting signs to see. If we find there's a song that's getting stronger.